Mr. Mayor, thanks for your hospitality. And to uh, all the elected officials that are here, I bring you greetings. When peaceful protesters dispersed an order for a president, a president from the doorstep of the People's House, the White House, using tear gas and flash grenades in order to stage a photo op, a photo op in one of the most historic churches in the country, or at least in Washington, D.C. We can be forgiven for believing the president is more interested in, the, in, in power than in principle, more interested in serving the passions of his base than the needs of the people in his care. For that's what the presidency is, the duty to care, to care for all of us, not just those who vote for us, but all of us, not just our donors, but all of us. The president held up the Bible at St. John's Church yesterday. I just wish he opened it once in a while instead of brandishing it. If he opened it, he could have learned something. Look, I look at the presidency as a very big job, and nobody will get it right every time. And I won't either. But I promise you this, I won't traffic in fear and division. I won't fan the flames of hate. I'll seek to heal the racial wounds that have long plagued our country, not use them for political gain. I'll do my job and I will take responsibility. I won't blame others. Today in America, it's hard to keep faith that justice is at hand. I know that. You know that. The pain is raw. The pain is real. The President of the United States must be part of the solution, not the problem. But this President today is part of the problem and accelerates it. May God bless you all, and may God protect our troops. Thank you.